So welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're very, very happy to see you uh, again uh, this afternoon at the Japan House. Thank you for joining us for this special event. Um, my name is Anna uh, from Programming Team, and today we're having Tokoi Miyuki-san, the director of Zero As You Are, uh, along with Sky Kobayashi, uh, whose story is featured in the movie. Uh, we're also joined by Eric Kurosawa, our amazing interpreter. Uh, <laughs> and uh, apart from our physical audience here at Japan House, we're also broadcasting live on Zoom, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Um, uh, so a warm welcome to everyone watching us at home. Mm. Uh, before we proceed uh, with asking all the questions that we have for both uh, Miyuki-san and Sky. And thank you very much for submitting your lovely much. comments and interesting questions. We'll do our best to ask as many as possible. Let me very, very briefly introduce um, our speakers for today. Tokoi Miyuki Hi. Uh, is a, a NHK world producer uh, specializing in architecture and arts, but also um, uh, in issues that draw on the perspective of socially vulnerable people. Uh, after graduating from Interna uh, International Christian University in Tokyo with a communication degree, um, Tokoi-san worked in the music industry as a director of a record company. Uh, after obtaining a master's degree in film at the University of Bristol and returning to Japan, uh, she started her career as an editor, director and producer. She continues to produce news and reports in her areas of expertise, mm -hmm. freelancing as producer and documentary director in both the UK and right. Japan. Welcome. Is it about me? <laughs> if, I, if I hear that really nice profile, is that really me? But yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you for much. joining us. Yeah. We, today we also have uh, Sky. Mm. Welcome. A warm welcome. Hi. Konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. So, Sky was born in 1995 in Kawasaki. In the second year of junior high school, Sky began to wear the typical school uniform for boys and attended high school as a boy from his first year, from their first year. Sky started hormone replacement therapy and other physical treatment while still in school. After graduation, Sky worked part-time and underwent gender-affirming surgery soon after turning 20. They changed their registered gender to male in the family registry and started attending a training school for voice actors, which was Sky's long-awaited dream. However, after identifying as a non-binary person, Sky decided to leave the voice acting industry where people are generally assigned roles uh, according to gender. Uh, Sky now freelances as poet, accessory artist, and voice actor. So please join me in a warm welcome to our both speakers today. Okay. Um, drink. Today's talk will not only will ask the questions that you kindly submitted, uh, but also uh, we welcome questions mm. from uh, those watching us mm. on Zoom. So please use the Q&A function uh, on Zoom to submit your questions and comments. So let me start. Yeah, but before that, can I just <laughs> uh, make some comments? So I'm, you can't really imagine how much I'm grateful for today, especially, you know, it was really, I had a lot of hardship in making this documentary and then I, even, you know, I really didn't think I could make a documentary. And then after the completion, just COVID hit after the COVID. So it was really difficult to expand this film. And then after all those sorts of, you know, really difficult times, I'm so grateful for today, especially thank you for Japan House team to make it happen. And then all, all people, I remember each of person who helped and support my film. And then especially, I want to uh, give a, a big thank for all of you who come to this screening today, even though it's a really nice, one of the nicest day in the UK. So rather than, <laughs> rather than going to the beach or rather than going to the picnic, thank you very much for choosing to come to watch my film today. I'm so grateful. Mm. Thank you. Mm, thank you. So uh, let me yeah. proceed to our uh, one of first and uh, mm -hmm. of many questions. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, in your profile that you enjoyed, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, it says that you're a um, director and producer and you, mm. you're specialized in art and architecture. Mm. What made you choose this topic? Okay, really good question. I NHK, uh, let me talk in Japanese because it's much easier for me, and then we've got a really you know, great interpreter today. So, NHK to you. 日本の公共放送、まあイギリスのBBCみたいなところですけれども、そこでえっと15年くらいあのドキュメンタリーおよびニュース番組のディレクターをしてました。Um so let me begin with my um background. Um I worked at NHK, so Japan Broadcasting um Corporations. Um it's an equivalent of BBC in Japan. And I specialized in making documentaries as well as I'm um, producing news programs. で、あの、テレビ局に勤めてると色々なトピックを扱わなくてはいけなくって、まあ私は確かにアートや建築やデザインやえっとクラフトとか伝統芸能そういうものにとても興味があったのでそういうものも多かったんですが、私の仕事は
much younger when the filming started and also probably in a very, very vulnerable situation. スカイさんへのご質問です。あの今回のドキュメンタリーに出演されようと思ったあの理由を教えてください。特にとても若い時にこの撮影を始めているので、大変あのすごく葛藤もあったと思うんですけど、その理由を教えていただけますでしょうか。はい、ありがとうございます。まあ、当時、中学生とかで、本当におっしゃる通り若かったんですけど、若いからこそ、ね、考えなしにいいですよって言えたっていうところもあると思います。Uh, thank you for your question.、Um, yes, as you said, I was very young. I was in junior high school at the time. But because I was so young,、uh, maybe that made me say yes to such <laughs> an offer, really. I think that's a good thing. 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 顔を出して名前を出して困ることもないのかなって今でも思っているからこうして今日は目の前に来ております日本から。<笑> <laughs> and just to add, in Japan,、um, a lot of people tend to be very hesitant to appear as themselves,、um, especially with their、um, face and like real names being featured in something like this. But I personally feel、um, it shouldn't be the case because I have done nothing wrong, and people who have done nothing wrong should be proud、um, or at least not hesitant to be featured in such a way. So that's why I am here today as myself now. Indeed, thank you.、Mm. Thank you very much. So now、um, uh, let me ask、uh, one of the questions that came from, from our audience、uh, today. So, how did you meet? All right, good, good, <laughs> very good question. So, now, the so, no, what she got, no, say, bit new, the day, the Kodomo that you feature, she died to Motta Tokini, just you jinko, Dareka, should I, he will get a great if you got, you know, cut. さっきスカイが言ったみたいに日本だとなかなか顔出ししたり本名を出したりしかも中学生子供たちいるのかなどうしようかなと思ってたんですけどこれ本当すごいあの作る運命だったんですかねポッと出会っちゃったんですもう今でもなんで出会ったのかわからないんですけどすぐに出会っちゃいましてここまで。Yes. Um, absolutely. So I started to make, um, Something、um, featuring these children who are confused and very troubled、um, by the idea of gender identity.、Um, and I was looking、uh, for a subject and、um, be people who wouldn't mind being featured. and But I thought it was going to be very difficult to find somebody who wouldn't mind in Japan to be featured as them,、mm-hmm. themselves,、um, especially. I was looking for a child essentially who somebody who was in junior high school. So I was like, oh no, there can't be somebody. Oh, I don't know how I would find.、Mm. But it was a pure coincidence. I just met Sky,、yeah. just, yes,、um, as, it was, as if it was fated to be.、Mm. Yeah, definitely. Then, I was like, I need to do this. So, I was like, 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 I was l i <laughs> yes, um, but um, and then I went to see him, um, I, yeah, I went to see them, and it was very, um, and they were just so so cute, so cute. And at the time, um, when they were 15, and then Sky came in saying, No, I'm still cute, actually. <laughs> ことを表現するだけの語彙も持ってなくって、ちょっとうつむき加減でポツリポツリと話す。うん、でも、顔出しもいい、名前も出してもいい、うん。で、自分のことを伝えたいっていう強い意志を持っていて、うん、あ、この子なら、あの、取材できると思って、すぐに取材を申し込みました。At the time, though,、um, Sky didn't have enough vocabulary to express themselves,、mm-hmm. and so、um, they were. Not as confident as they are now.、Mm. So they were looking down on the ground, and like the answers came very slower、mm. than how、mm. they would express themselves now. But、um, I really felt very strong mm. mindset mm. and also desire to、mm. really talk honestly about themselves. Mm. Mm. So I thought, okay, no, this person would be great in my documentary.、Mm. So I would love to work、mm. with them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Sky, how, how do you remember this encounter? <laughs> Sky さん、この初めて出会った時のこと、どういうふうにあの記憶されてますかうん、まあ結構前の記憶なのであんまり覚えてないんですけど、最初にお会いしたのが、まあ、カフェでちょっとお話をして、こういう番組を作りたいっておっしゃってるのを聞いたんですけど、まあもちろんまだ子供だったので、母にも同席してもらい、私はね、ケーキをいただいていたのをよく覚えてます。あの<笑>甘いものが好きだって聞いてたんで、ケーキで釣ろうと思っていた。To be honest, it was a long time ago, so I don't recall it as vividly as I probably should have. But um, it's um, I remember it was in a cafe, and Miyuki-san, t o k o i s a n explained that it was for these types of program. I remember hearing that, but um. I was a child at the time, after all. So my mother was with me, and I remember she was listening to her explanation,、um, Tokoi san's explanations, but I was eating cake、um, beside her. I, I remember that. And then Tokoi san said, Oh, no, I've heard、um, they have a sweet tooth, so <laughs> I decided to bribe them with cake. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> It worked, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Sky. So、uh, here's another one for you.、Um, it's, it's been a long journey. Would you be able to tell us more about those who supported you on this long, long journey?、Mm. Definitely not the easiest one as well.、Mm. Sky, さんへのご質問ですけれども今回のこの長いあの時を記録した作品の中でも、mm. あの出てますけれども。一番支援してくれたと思われる方はどなたですかあのすごく、まあ辛いことも道筋だと思いますかああまあ、こう、暮らしていく中で、いろんな友人とか先生とかとの出会いもあったけど、何をするにしても、やっぱりまず病院にね、こう、連れて行ってくれたりとか、この、例えば映画作るにあたっての、ね、とこいみゆきさんに会いに行くときについてきてくれたりとか、全面的にやはり母には、世話になったなと思ってます。Uh, there were many people.、Um, I have made some great friends and I've met some great teachers as well.、Um, but、uh, first and foremost, my mother took me to the hospital and also accompanied me to the meetings, like a meeting with、um, Miyuki san, a Tokoi san,、um, to discuss filmmaking.、Um, so she'd been there all through.、Um, So, yes,、um, my mother would be the person. Actually,、um, there is one more person joining us、uh, today. Kobayashi san, y o r e s h i k o n a g a s h i m a s t h a n k you. Join us. Thank you. 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 t h 本当にあの本日ご参加いただきましてありがとうございます。お母様からあの一言二言いただけますでしょうか。えっ、ー、とこちらこそこのような場にお招きいただきましてありがとうございます。あのこういって皆さんと一緒にお話しさせていただくのとても光栄に思っています。よろしくお願いします。No, thank you for inviting me, and it is a great honor to join be joining you. So thank you very much for having me. Since we have you here, would you be able to say a couple of words、uh, so that we know also your part of the story? We've heard from、uh, Miyuki san about her experience as a director. We heard from Sky about their experience、uh, on this long journey.、Mm -hmm. How was it for you、mm -hmm. as a mom of,、uh, of a non binary person?、Mm -hmm. あのお母様のご経験を少しお話しいただけますでしょうか差し支えなければ。あのトコイさん、はいとあのスカイさんからのご経験はお聞きしたのでぜひお母様のご経験も聞きたいと思います。はい。大丈夫です。お願いいたします。はい。That's okay. Yes, I can explain. はい。お願いします。Right now. Uh, as, as... Oh. Oh. あ今あのどうぞあのお話しいただければと思います。はい。あの今あの。話の中に出た同席をしたりっていうことなんですけれどもまだあの中学生から高校生の最初の頃病院に行き始めたりとかそういったところの場面ではまだまだ言葉も、ね、本人あまり出てこないということであの代わりに話をしたりやっぱりまだ
幼かったので、親が一緒に行くっていうことでついていったんですが、18歳ぐらいになってからは、もう本人にすべて任せて、取材とかロケとかは一人で行ってたと思います。Um, yes, as it's been explained,、um, when Sky was still in school, junior high school, high school,、um, I did accompany them to the hospital and also filmmakings、um, as well, because、um, at the time they struggled to come up with words that they really wanted to express, the best ex、um, express what, how they were feeling at the time. So、um, sometimes I spoke in Lu、um, instead, um, instead of them. But since they turned 18,、um, really, I, I wasn't there,、um, whether it be filmmaking or at the hospital appointments, and they just attended themselves. カミングアウトする前に、なんとなく何か苦しそうだな、悩んでいそうだなっていうのを感じて、えー、3年ぐらい私はもしかしたら性別に違和感があるのかなって思って、本人が言ってくる前にそのことについて、あの、いろいろ本を読んだり、インターネットを見たりして勉強をして、心の準備をして待っていました。Uh, yes, so let me tell you about the、uh, time、um, before、um, Sky came out to me.、Um, it was really so from around three years before、um, them coming out, I sensed that they might be troubled、uh, by their gender identity、um, and confused by it. So I started reading、um, and researching, reading the books. And also looking at what was online、um, to really prepare myself、um, for the time when they were ready to talk about it. Why,、uh, why were you waiting? Why were you preparing? I, eh, to, oya de aru, watashi, otona de aru, watashi ga. まだ本人の口から言ってこないことをこうじゃないのああじゃないのっていう言葉をかけてしまうことでなんか洗脳してしまう思い込ませてしまうんじゃないかなっていうそういった不安がありましたなので本人の心の中で一生懸命考えて感じて答えを出す時間が必要だと思ったのでそれまでの間待つっていうことを選びました、um, the reason why I... Prepared myself and waited、uh, for them to come and talk to me、um, was because I didn't want to influence them by suggesting、um, what I thought they might be going through.、Um, I didn't want to brainwash them,、um, in other words. I just wanted them to come to me instead. So I decided,、um, I thought it was best to give them the time to really think and feel. Internally,、um, before I'd influence them in any way. So that's why I've done the research by myself. Thank you.、Um, yeah, thank you very much. And、uh, I think it's extremely reassuring、mm. and、um, great to hear that you had all this capacity and all this support mm. Mm. you could give、mm. to Sky.、Mm. 本当にあの素晴らしい支援の仕方ですごくこう心のよりどころになるような対応だったと思います。素晴らしいと思います。Thank you and thank you, thank you for joining us today. ご参加いただきましてありがとうございます。Thanks. So,、uh, let me come back to one of still many questions that we have for、yeah. both of you and, and Sky. And uh, so, uh, Miyuki san,、はい um, the The process of making documentary lasted nine long years.、Mm -hmm. We also, one of、um, uh, you from, from, from the audience asked, when was this moment when、mm -hmm. you decided that, okay,、mm -hmm. now it's the time、mm -hmm. <laughs> to share it with the world? Yes. <laughs> あのー、私はずっと NHK のディレクターだったわけですけど、映画を作ろうと思ったことはなくてですね。なのでずっと自分で映画が作れるかどうか本当に自信がなくってそんな時にある
ある人との出会いがありました実はこの映画「みゆき」だらけで私も得意みゆきなんですけど今のお母さんも小林みゆきさん、うんうん、であのお一人出てきた八代みゆきさんっていう84歳の方それに、えー、と実はそのプロデューサーになるあの諸角みゆきさんっていう方との出会いがあってみゆきとみゆきで二人三脚でドキュメンタリーを作り始めたのが2015年ぐらいです。Yes,、um, this will be a long answer, but bear with me.、Um, so, as I mentioned, I was working as a director、um, in a- NHK.、Um, but even when I got this idea、uh, to create something、uh, featuring、uh, these children who were、uh, going through a trouble, I Um, I wasn't confident whether I could make it、um, into a film.、Um, I wasn't confident enough to take on the role of film director. But、um, then there was a fortuitous meeting,、um, another one、um, again.、Um, just on a side note,、um, there are full of Miyukis in this、um, <laughs> documentary. I don't know if you have noticed, but、um, my name is、um, Tokoi Miyuki.、Um, but、um, the Sky's mother is called Miyuki as well. Her name is Kobayashi Miyuki. And the、um, lady who was featured within the documentary film,、um, an 84 year old lady, her name is、um, Yashiro Miyuki as well. So it's,、um, but、um, I met another Miyuki、um, who <laughs> became the producer of this film, Morosumi、um, <laughs> Miyuki. And she really became the,、mm. um, my partner、mm. in this documentary making.、Mm. で本当二人三脚で20回ぐらい一緒に撮影に行って映画にどうしようっていうのを日々話し合ってすごくあのあのすごくあの素晴らしい時を過ごしたんですが残念ながら2017年にご病気になりましてじゃ病気が回復するまでちょっと映画の制作を中止しあの休,み休もうということになりました。And I met、um, the producer, Morozu Miyuki, back in 2015. And we went, to, we went for shoots、um, 20 times or so. Every time she would accompany me, we talked a lot about how to make this into a film. She really helped me. But unfortunately, she became ill、um, around 2017. So、um, we decided to take a break from filmmaking. Miyuki san no. 回復を待ってたんですけれども、残念ながら2018年に天に召されました。I was waiting for her to recover, but unfortunately,、um, she passed away in 2018. また一人っきりに戻って、どうやってこのドキュメンタリーを制作していこうか、本当に、本当に、あの、<笑>あのどうしていいかわからない時期がありました。And I became alone again、um, with this project. And there was a period that I was totally lost in how I could go forward.、Mm-hmm. Um, I was lost, but somebody else stepped in to really encourage me again.、Um, and this was、um, Kobayashi Miyuki, the mother of Sky. Miyuki. Miyuki san wa... 私が映画を作り続けることが諸角みゆきさんの意思を引き継ぐことだ。絶対にみゆきさんはこの映画を完成させることを望んでいる。だから私がやるべきだっていうふうに励ましてくれました。Uh, this another Miyuki,、um, Kobayashi Miyuki really told me、um, that I'm sure producer 諸角みゆき really want you to finish the film and that is your calling.、Um, so I You have to do it. You must finish this project. So, I was able to do it. 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 Very tough process for me because I never begged for money、um, to anyone. So I,、um, but I carried on every day,、um, day by day. I went to see one person today and then the next person to talk about funding. But in the end, I was able to support you. 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 I was able to support you.
いろいろな形で手伝いを申し,あの申し入れてくれたりもちろんお金をくださったりそうしてる中でああお金ってただのお金でなく私が受け取ってるのはお金のその向こう側にある愛やサポートや支援や温かい気持ち、私を応援する気持ちなんだって気がつきました。And while I was doing so, so many people raised their hands to help me.、Um, I've met so many wonderful people who have,、um, yes, they funded the projects, but、um, there were so many other help as well in various forms. And then I realized, oh, the funds,、um, the money, It's not just about money itself.、Um, it's really the representation symbols of all the love and support and the warmth that they felt towards this project and for me to create this project. And so that was a humbling realization. <laughs> それからは本当映画を作る作業がすごく楽しくなってそれからは本当に音楽を作ったり字幕を作ったりすごく楽しい作業をしました。Since then,、uh, the filmmaking became a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed creating、um, music and the scores and also writing、um, in the, within this documentary as well. もしみゆきさんが生きていたら、この映画はスカイが男性になってめでたしめでたしっていう話になってたんです。Ended at a point when Sky、um, transitioned、um, to becoming a male, and then、um, that, would be, that would have been the end point. Miyuki san ga i なくなったおかげで二年間待ったおかげでその間に Sky の辞任が変わっていて、まあ最初私はびっくりしたんですけど、えー、映画のエンディング変わっちゃうじゃんみたいな感じでびっくりしたんですけれども、それがなかった、これをおかげで一歩深い映画にすることができました。<笑> um, the reason the ending、um, would have changed is not because of her, the, the, Morozumi Yuki's views or anything. It was just purely to do with the timing. Because I waited for two years,、um, during those times,、uh, Sky's self identity has shifted. And then I've discovered that、uh, because of those hiatus.、Um, and I was first a little bit puzzled because I was like, oh, now we need to change the ending. How am I going to do that? Oh, I don't know how to conclude the film in a neat manner. But,、um, that was, but, but it was a blessing in disguise.、Mm-hmm. Thank you.、Mm. And by the way you're speaking about the movie, how emotional、mm. you get, we can see how important、mm. it is、yeah. to you、yeah. even all the people you use.、Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm so glad I made this film.、Mm. I, it, was, I, it was after so many. difficulties, but I'm so happy about it. So, I'm so glad I made this film. 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 Challenging moments? What were the most rewarding moments during this nine years、um, mission? <laughs> Sky さん、この9年間の中で、あの一番辛かったことですとか、一番こう、あれはとても良かったなって思えるような、誇りに思えるような場面とかを教えていただけますでしょうかじゃあ、まずは、ね、嫌な話からしますね。<laughs> okay, I will start something negative as a last man to get out of the point. どういうわけかわからないんですけど、まあ、とこいみゆきさんと一緒に撮影に行くとか取材を受けるロケに行くって日は、だいたい雨が降りました。<笑> I don't know why, but whenever、um, I went for on a shoot、uh, with とこいみゆきさん、um, it always rained. <笑><笑>よかったことは、うん、まあ、だいたいそうですね、私の扱いをよくご存知だと思うので、監督、みゆき監督は。なので、おいしいものを差し入れに持ってきてくれたり、撮影が終わったらご飯を食べに行こうと、そういった甘い言葉で、毎回私を、ね、<笑>釣ってましたね。<笑> And the positives were,、um, the director knows how to handle me very well. And so there was always something nice to eat、uh, during snacking times.、Um, something sweet. Was always there. She would turn up with a box of them. And also, like, and after the end of the shoot, she would be like, We will go and eat something, a very nice meal at the end of this shoot. So,、um, that was, I knew it was her way to bribe me, but it worked. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we actually are receiving also quite a number of questions from oh. Zoom. Uh, so this one is uh, to you, Sky, uh, from Alexis. Thank you, Alexis. Um, a question to Sky. Do you have any thoughts about the increasing popularity abroad of anime, manga, and other media with LGBTQ plus themes mm -hmm. and the perception they create of the lives of the community, community in Japan? Thank you so much. And um, this is a comment to us. And if you can pass on my compliment on their shirt, too, please do so. Uh, Sky, your shirt is amazing. <laughs> スカイさんへのご質問です。あの、アレクシスさんからなんですけれども、あの、アニメの中で日本のアニメの中で<笑><笑><笑> アニメ、そうですね。最近のアニメは特にそのLGBTQ、あトランスジェンダーだったり、同性愛だったり、そういったものを描くものが増えてるというか、まあよく見かけるなっていう印象は私もあります。I think Alexis is right. Um, I think recently anime have started to feature um, the LGBTQ plus society, um, community a bit more um, on uh, different genders and also um, trans um, characters as well. Mm. ただ、in terms of the effects and the influences to the wider community and the society, um, I feel like it's a good thing that um, more people would be aware of um, those fluidities and different um, identities um, through animation. I, I think it is um, a good starting point. And also, it, if it widens other people's perspectives, then that can only be a positive thing. However, um, anime is a fiction at the end of the day. So um, if people do gain awareness that it is um, something that... It, Anime is not to be all and end all, then I think that's is a positive thing. Yes. Um, uh, we also have a question from, from the audience. Someone just managed just in time to put it in our little box uh, outside. Uh, it's also about um, uh, actually anime or um, creative part of, of you, Sky. Um, have you ever considered making your own anime to do your own voiceover? Uh, maybe working alongside other non-binary creatives to tell your story to a larger audience would be a good idea? そしてあのまたアニメに関するスカイさんへの質問なんですけれどもあのご自身で あのアニメをクリエイターとして作ってそれをあの声優として出演するっていうのは考えたことがありますか？あの お一人だけではなくても他のノンバイナリーの方と一緒に働かれるとかいうのはいかがなんでしょうかえっとアニメ制作っていう意味では楽しそうだなって思いますけど例えばこの映画をアニメ化する私が登場人物になるっていうのは
Um, the question is about um, culture, um, uh, specific to Japan, um, in terms of the way people see see gender. Um, how what, what was this experience for you, Sky? How do you uh, see it in comparison to, yeah, for example, yeah. UK when you uh, in the san where where you live? Yeah. What would be the the, the difference? Maybe Sky. Mm -hmm. Sky, would you like to start? Mm -hmm. Sorry, culture and um, uh, towards the how the people see um, uh, gender in Japan. How is it in comparison to different countries? えっと、まずこの質問なんですけれども、あの、日本の文化的な背景において、あの、ちょっとお聞きしたいんですけれども、ジェンダーっていうことを日本ではどう見られているとお思いますか。まあ、スカイさんのご自身のご経験も含めて
were finding difficulties um, with their gender identity、うん、or sexuality or gender or sexual identities でもですねあの8割以上の方が身近にはそういった性別、えーえー、セクシャリティに関する悩みを抱えている人はいないと答えてます。But、um, on the other hand, 80% of the people have answered、um, there aren't anybody who seems to be troubled or finding it difficult to、um, with their gender, ident- gender or sexual identities. うん、うん、ということは、えー、っと、そういうこと。性的マイノリティの方がいることは知っていても身近にはいないと思っているのが今、日本の現状です。Uh, themselves, うん、それであの私は映像というのはそういった知識を実感に変える力があると思っていて、私がこの映画をあの見せて、行くことで、あのどこかにいる誰かの話ではなく、身近にいる、確実にいるあの実在の人物の話、そして自分ごととして考えてほしいと思っています。I believe what these documentaries、um, or filming,、uh, film contents could bring is that knowledge could become the actual realization、um, in your head. And I think、um, that's That was my intent.、うん、I wanted、um, somebody who is going through gender and sexual difficulties and confusions、um, to be not as somebody who is depicted only on screen, but somebody who that they felt、um, could, be, could be their friends or somebody that they knew.、うんうん、yeah. Hi. Thank you.、うん um, following on that question, and again, this is both to, to you、うん、and, and、uh, to you, Sky. Um, would you have,、uh, if someone would like to explore more about diverse gender and sexual identities in Japan,、uh, do you have any recommendations of other documentaries,、um, other media,、uh, books, mm. films? Mm. Sky, would you like to go first? Sky, さん、あのもし他の方々で、あのご自身のジェンダーなり、あの性別なりにもうちょっとあのさまざまな。ものを見て、ちょっとアイデアを考えたいっていうときに、何か、うん、あのこれを見た方がいいんじゃないかとお勧めできるような作品とかはありますかあのメディアにとらわれずですね。わあ、ちょっと思いつかないですけど、今日ご覧いただいた映画の中に出てきた、あのジェンダーブレッドというイラストがありますよね。うん、あれが分かりやすいんじゃないかなと思います。Um, I can't think of any, but there is a there is there are what tables that were featured in the documentary、um, Gender Grid.、Um, I think gender bread, gender bread, bread, bread yeah, not,、um, not ginger bread, but no, gender no, bread. No. <laughs> <laughs>、um, yes. um, so the one Tokoi san is holding,、mm. I think that would help、mm. uh, probably. Would you want to say it? Oh, this is the first thing. 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 恋愛なのか、こう、性的欲求を抱くのかわからないな。両方ですね。両方。うん、で、えー、あと、体、生まれ持った出生時の性別という欄と、性表現っていうのが、その、服装とか、振る舞いとか、社会的にどう生きていきたいか、みたいな感じで、そう、それぞれに印をつけていくと、自分の性別っていうのがわかるかな、と思います。So, this table contains four different、um, spectrums,、um, as you can see. And the first one that I, is gender identity, how you identify and how you see yourself.、Um, and the next one is、um, it's called attraction, but um, gender um, attraction or preference and who you feel attracted to,、um, whether it be sexual or emotional,、um, it can just be up to that person who's identifying it with. And then the next one is、um, biological sex,、um, 
gender or sex at birth, um, sex at birth. And the last one is the expression, how you would like to, for example, dress um, or be express yourself and within the society. Thank you. <laughs> マジョリティとかマイノリティとかいう話ではなく、一人一人ここにいる会場の皆様、一人一人が違うところに印をつけるので、私が思うんですけど、あのこの性的マイノリティっていうけど、実はマジョリティマイノリティの問題ではなく、
Thank you. And uh, I'm afraid um, our time is up. And I would like to thank you very, very much uh, for joining us today for this very special event. Big thank you to all of you gathered here uh, at Japan House. A big thank you to our virtual audience as well. Um, following this event, we'll send you a feedback form by email, and I would really, really appreciate you telling us what you liked about today, what is that we can still improve mm -hmm. to make those events better in future. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we go, you go, we also have a um, couple of uh, information, like uh, pieces of information about upcoming events that might be of interest to you. Um, in July, we will uh, host two screenings of NHK documentary, among whores heels featuring the story of um, Kodo Nishimura. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will be followed by a talk event with Kodo Nishimura. And like today event, we would like to make it all about your questions. Mm -hmm. So those of you who watch the event will be also sent a, um, a form uh, that would allow you to submit your questions. Uh, we'll also make it possible to just submit the questions without watching the documentary. So um, um, if there is something you'd like to ask Kodo, who is uh, quite a celebrity now, then please feel free to do so. Uh, very, very soon, we will also open our new um, exhibition, uh, Wave Currents in Japanese Graphic Arts, uh, which uh, features a very bold and very interesting artworks. Uh, it's going to be also complemented by a number of talks, uh, tours, and other uh, interesting and exciting events. So please keep an eye on our website. And that concludes today's event. Thank you very much to Sky. Thank you very much to Tokoi san. Mm. And thank you very much to all of you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.